Hey y'all, today I'm going to share with you what I read in the past two weeks. This week, I really don't feel like I accomplished much. I mean, I read six things. They are graphic novels, and they're very quick and easy to get through. And now I can understand why people kind of feel guilty about counting them in their challenge because of how easy they are. I mean, I'm still going to count them because I don't really care. If you read something, it counts. But I can understand it because I, I don't really feel like I accomplished much. Especially since the one thing that I was really hoping to finish, I didn't even touch until yesterday. So the six things that I finished were the first six volumes of Saga by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staple. This is about a couple from two different sides of this war who fall in love, get married, and have a baby. And now they're on the run from both sides of this war who want to destroy them. I enjoyed the story and the artwork, but I had issues with how explicit this was. Now, I don't mind when there's sexual content in my books or films, as long as it is striving for character development and the story. If it has a purpose with the story, that's fine. And there were times where I was like, yeah, I get that as a part of this character's development, this character's storyline. But there were other times where I'm just like, you went one step too far for me. I'm a bit of a conservative. I accept the fact that whereas some people are going to love this just because they're okay with how sexually explicit this book, these books are, I'm not going to be. And although I was okay with certain scenes because it makes sense with the story and the character development, I really didn't think at other times that they needed to go that far. And I just didn't care for those times where I'm just like, you're just doing this for the shock factor and you can totally tell that they were and I just found that really bothersome to me because your audience is going to enjoy reading this because of the story itself and the characters, but you just needed to go that far? No. I also didn't really care for the Will who is, as I'm going to call him, a bounty hunter. He's one of the people who's been hired to go after these two and he Ends up going to this den, I guess you want to call it that. And it's like, you know what these people do, you know that they're going to have kids, and yet he gets self righteous about it. And I just don't feel like he has the right to get self righteous about it because he's literally going after these two parents, willing to kill them and orphan a child. I mean, how can you be self righteous when you're willing to orphan a child? And you don't even know what you're landing that child into by doing so. And I just don't, I just didn't get it. It didn't make a lot of sense. And it, I mean, I get that there's, like, he's twisted. And I get they're saying that. But I just didn't get why we needed to, like, have that part in there. I mean, it was just a little bit, like, ridiculous to me because it was, again, like, one of those things where it was just for the sake of violence and the sake of making it feel twisted to me and I just didn't care for that. I really wanted to be focused on this couple and I kept getting all these other side things and I get that you're trying to show how they were trying getting closer and closer to these two but at the same time I just didn't care for where they were taking those characters. And so in the end I gave all volumes six stars. It's good I can understand why people love this graphic novel series, I just didn't think that it was as great as the hype made it out to me. I'm also working on A Walk in the Woods by Bill Bryson. I really thought I was gonna finish this this week, but it, like I said, I didn't really even touch it until yesterday. And I've started, and I've really started to lose interest, not, not because I didn't pick it up until yesterday, but because he tends to like go on these tangents about these towns that they go in. And goes into this historical lesson about these towns and he starts listing and when people start listing that's when I lose complete interest. You don't need to list things. Why are you listing everything off to me? I don't need to know all of this. I mean when he started talking about the forest and what was going on with the trees that made 100% sense to me and I appreciate learning more about what the Appalachian Trail was dealing with and the National Forest 
you know, people. And I was just pretty upset to hear everything. But again, I just think that he goes on tangents that weren't necessary at times. And I also felt like I, I was losing on what I wanted, which was his experience. I want his peer experience of what he was going through on the trail and dealing with cats. And I just didn't feel like I was getting that fully because he kept going on these tangents. I don't know if my opinion on this is going to stay the same when I finish this. I don't even know if I'm going to finish it because I'm on the fence if I'm enjoying it enough to continue on. But we will see next week. Those are the things that I've read reading. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these things if you've read them. I would also love to hear what you're currently reading. Thank you all so much for watching and keep smiling.